The WWE Universe is eagerly anticipating Roman Reigns' return, hoping he will put the new tribal chief, Solo Sokoa, in check. The recent attack on Paul Heyman on WWE SmackDown has intensified curiosity about the future of the bloodline, and the answer could lie with Jey Uso. The revamped bloodline is running rampant on the blue brand, and Jey Uso might step in to restore order. He can't avoid his former faction for long and may devise a plan to slowly dismantle the bloodline over the coming weeks. Here, we explore three ways Jey Uso can weaken the bloodline before Roman Reigns makes his comeback. Number 3. Paul Heyman made a request the last time he met Jey Uso. A few months ago, Jey Uso challenged Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship at WWE Backlash, France, but he was unable to capture the title. Earlier that night, a pivotal moment occurred when Paul Heyman encountered Jay backstage. The Wiseman likely anticipated the significant changes coming to the bloodline and sought assistance from the former right-hand man. Though they didn't exchange words, their shared history conveyed their emotions without speaking. Heyman appeared visibly unsettled by Solo Sokoa's proposed direction for the bloodline and subtly sought Jay's help. Now, with the wise men having been taken away in an ambulance, a guilt-ridden Jey Uso might confront Solo Sokoa and the new bloodline over their recent actions. Number 2, Jey Uso reunites with Jimmy Uso against the Solo Sokoa run bloodline. Solo Sokoa attacked Jimmy Uso on the SmackDown after WrestleMania, punishing him for his loss to Jay. Jimmy then took a hiatus from TV to recover from an injury but could make a significant return at WWE Money in the Bank next month. He might come back as a face, joining forces with Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens in a six-man tag team match against the Bloodline. Alternatively, he could directly target Sokoa, only to find himself standing alone against the faction. Fans might witness the new Bloodline viciously attacking Jimmy Uso on WWE SmackDown week after week, undermining his every move on the blue brand. This relentless assault could ultimately force Jey Uso to make a heroic return, potentially rescuing his brother from suffering the same fate as Paul Heyman. Number 1. Jey Uso helps Cody Rhodes against the Bloodline at WWE Money in the Bank. Many in the WWE Universe are anticipating either Roman Reigns or Jimmy Uso to return during the Bloodline's six-man tag team match at Money in the Bank. However, if neither makes an appearance, Jey Uso might step up to help his friend Cody Rhodes and his team secure a victory against the faction now led by his brother. Jey is scheduled to compete in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. It's possible that the Bloodline could interfere, costing him a significant win. This interference could drive Jay to seek revenge against Solo Sokoa and his men during their match against Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!